Welcome to Feiyan PvP TV. You're watching a 2 versus 2 on the R16 map. Tiberium Pantanese. We've got our two players on the left hand side. We've got the green marked of Kane, Daniel. Daniel's partner on his right. We've got player going random, getting vanilla GDI. We've got the pink Feiyan. Cross from Feiyan, his adversary in blue. We've got the vanilla GDI, Vice. Vice's ally to his right side, our left side, the teal. It's a GDI faction, I'm not sure what this is, but this is Matthew. First time that these players are playing on this map, Pantanese or Pantana, I don't know how you pronounce that, maybe it's French. I don't care. You can fire off French bullets. But they'll hurt just the same by sending in a whole lot of of Rifleman squad straight to the bottom corner. Vayne is also going to be over here. He's got an Engineer coming. Oh, Vice is going to mow him down. Vice will mow him down. Vice is really quick. Let's see. Does Vice see it? Is Vice going to... Oh, he sees it. Oh, there it is. Goes up in veterancy. Matthew takes over this building over here. Let's see where Feyen sent his scouts. Vice mm. takes a strategic position in the start of the match. Dropping a foxhole over here. He's going to block Feyen's entry point to the Tiberium Spike. Daniel saying, I've got awakened squads over here. Let's see. Two engineers. Out over here for Vice, who looks like, okay, there's a Tiberium Spike up top over there. There's one over here. So every player's got two, and you can expand over here. So it looks like this bottom right corner, this is the very important for this match. Let's see, ooh, okay. So Fan is, he's got two APCs over here, one filled with an Awakened Squad. Vice always sending his APC with Engineer. He will try that this match too. That's always a standard move. Vayne already starts firing on the Foxhole. There it is. Okay, there's that APC Engineer for Vice. He sees that there is a firefight over here, so he doesn't want to betray or reveal his APC. So he sends that back. I don't think Vayne spotted that. Matthew still scouting on this side, on this left-hand side. Should be on two refineries now, yep. Matthew's got his Tiberium Spike over there. So Feyen, his economy is lacking. Oh, Daniel didn't take this either. Oh, there's another APC over here. This is not Vice, this is Matthew. Matthew with an APC, sneaky. Oh, Matthew with an APC, woo! This is interesting, look at that, that's beautiful. Matthew, sneaky, is he gonna go? It looks like he's gonna try and take this. Daniel, I don't know if he's paying attention. Is Daniel gonna pay attention? A Engineer comes out, Engineer comes out for Matthew. Oh, he's going to work on this con yard, gonna take it over, oh no! Oh, Matthew takes over the con yard. Oh, Daniel suffers a severe blow from the very beginning. Awaken Squad comes out and already EMPs. Smart EMP from Matthew. EMPs the War Factory and the Refinery. So Daniel, oh man, Daniel is in panic mode right now. He's like, oh man, there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He had to sell off his Refinery also. Oh no. Daniel is in big trouble. Daniel is in so much trouble right now. So Feyen has to cover for his ally. Daniel's so much trouble right now. All he has is this war factory. He needs to keep that war factory alive. So Feyen... Yeah, Feyen's... Let's see, okay, so he took the Tiberian Spike over here. He has to get that expansion point quickly, but now his focus... He has to focus on keeping his ally alive. He sends a couple of units over here. It's a good thing that Daniel took over the Mutant Hovel. Because now he's sending in some men to protect this. I think he's making an AP or, or an MCV, he has to, he has to, that is his only chance of survival, there it is, making an MCV, he doesn't have that much money though, doesn't have money, so if I, if I was 
the team on the right side they've got to go and attack right now okay MCP expanding they've got to send whatever they have and finish Daniel off all they need to do is come out with a couple of yeah a couple of tier 1 units because that's all you have okay Feyen is beaconing saying yeah put some units over here so we can see them coming all right let's see what they're doing let's see what they're doing okay it looks like he's gathering up some forces Matthew Matthew's gathering up some forces but they should have followed it up though oh okay here you go MCV comes out for Daniel but they are severely weak in the team on the left hand side Vayan does now have his expansion he has his expansion but Vice is already here Vice is here with the Konya Vice could have also taken an expansion point like Feyen. Okay, Feyen drops down a refinery, so he expands at almost exactly the same time as Fight. He's a little bit quicker. So Feyen and Daniel, they're rebuilding again. Daniel, let's see if he can come back. Only had one refinery. He at least had, I think, three harvesters, or only had two, two harvesters, because he had to cancel the third one, of course, to make that MCV. So Matthew is the furthest along, I think, in, in tech. Matthew should already, okay, he's already have tier 2, let's see if he's got the AP ammo done, I expect him to have AP ammo done, AP ammo's done, he's got more engineers, he's got an engineer in there, oh, here you go, here you go, okay, Vice is poking in Feyen's base, pushing in, Feyen's got defender's advantage, so Feyen wards off Vice, he's successful in breaking down the first attack of Vice, Forgot. I didn't see exactly how many units. Okay, two refineries comes down over here. Comes down over here. Let's see what Fane's gonna do. Is Fane gonna push on ahead? Okay, what are these snipers? Snipers, yeah, snipers over here. Ooh, Fane's gotta take down those snipers. Gotta take down the snipers. Smart move for Matthew. Matthew's gonna pull his snipers away. He still has three of them. Looks like Fane beat off Vice. So now he's gonna see if he can push. He can push. Okay, here you go. Matthew poking and prodding. Oh, Matthew can come forward. Oh, the War Factory. The War Factory. But he does have. He has the conyard. He's got to laser fence this. He's got to laser fence this, Daniel. Throw down the laser fence. We're seven minutes into this game. Fane drops some power plants over here just to maybe have some cover. He's going to lose. Okay. He sells it off. He sells it off. Fane's here with a couple of units. He's here with a couple of units. He has to keep moving his army back and forth. He has to move his army back and forth. He doesn't have any protection for his refinery over here. Vice is going to come again. Good, good, good pressure from Vice on that side. So Matthew's rebuilding. I think Matthew's already... He should have tech already. Matthew should have... Where is your tech? Matthew already... Oh, so much tip for Matthew. Very, very advantageous for the team on the right side. Vice also growing here in economy. He's got his tech. Railgun's almost done. The team on the left-hand side are, are really in big trouble. So Feyen should also drop a refinery over here. They need to start building here. They need to start expanding. Maybe they got to pile on the defense right now. They can't really go on the offense. Okay, here you go. Feyen is, is clashing with Vice over here. They both don't have any anti-infantry. Oh, no, 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 no. Feist does have, but he doesn't have AP ammo. Feist has the research, the AP ammo. Fein doesn't have... Fein doesn't have AP ammo either. He, he is researching it, but he keeps on moving his army back and forth, of course, because he needs to protect... He needs to protect Daniel. He has to make sure Daniel can come back to an acceptable level. Because he was severely weakened in the beginning. Okay, Matthew sent his snipers in too close. Too close. I think all of his snipers are dead. Okay, tip spike taken by Daniel. He should have taken that so much earlier. Looks like Feist will be able to take out this expansion of Feyen. Feyen is making a mistake here, not dropping down some base defense. Oh, Reclamator Hub. Uh, that has to be the Marv going to come out for Feyen. As soon as that Marv comes out, then Feyen and Daniel are in big trouble. They are in big trouble, but they need to already expand. Refinery comes down for Feyen over here. He's got to build up that economy. Got to build up that economy. I don't see any tier 3. I don't... Okay, the tier 2 is here, but no tier 3 is yet. No tier 3 yet for Feyen. I 
think they are suffering. Daniel is saying we have to go over here. But it's too far. You have to take this first. Scorpion tanks coming out for Daniel. Okay, here you go. The Juggernauts coming out. If I should also have Juggernauts. Okay, Faye and clashing over here. Faye and clashing over here. I missed this. I missed this. Here we go. Okay, we gotta turn the camera a little bit. Film under the bridge. Film under the bridge. Here we go. Tier 1 units for Fayan. Oh, but there is the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut of Vice is peppering Fayan from afar. Fayan's gonna lose this battle. Zone Troopers out for Vice. Vice is gonna win this fight right now. He's pushing Fayan back. Pushing Fayan back. Fayan doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough. He does sneak a full load of Blue Tiberium. Oh, but that Harvester is taking heavy fire. Fayan is trying to cover the escape route of his Harvester. He's trying to kill as much as he can over here. Let's see if Vice has attacked this. No, Fayan pulled his harvesters off the line. He's got to send them back to work. Send them back to work. Fayan is forced back because Vice is pushing forward. Vice is asserting his dominance over here with these juggernauts. Let's see if Daniel has built up something again. Nothing yet. Okay. But he's got to move over here. He's got to expand. Daniel's got to expand. He's got to drop down. Oh, here you go. The enemy is in range again. Matthew is going to lay on some pressure on Daniel's base. This Mark of Cain, he has to use EMPs. He has to use EMPs. He's got to use... Okay, he's got the Mutant Marauders, but EMP this. He's got to EMP this. That is the way forward. No protection, no support for these for these juggernauts. Fane's rebuilding again, but it's slow. It's slow. It's slow. I think Fane is running out of money because there's no second refinery over here. Fane had to expand. Oh, here you go. There you go, Matthew is just demolishing this army. Whoa, Matthew is just punishing Daniel over here. Matthew continuously has the upper hand over here. The team on the right side continuously has the upper hand. It is an uphill battle for the team on the left hand side for Feyen and Daniel. It's tough for them. Tough for them if you lose your MCV. The beginning Marv comes out. Feyen has to pull off his harvesters off the line. He might have to sell this refinery. Well, I think he will. He will have to send this. He's got to sell it. He's got to pull back all his harvesters. They are full. He's got one full one. He's got full. Full cash. But this is going to be tough. Okay, Mutant Marauders coming forward now. Let's see. They're going to prove their worth. Or they will try to prove their worth. They're going to go straight for the Juggernaut. They might be able to take down the Juggernaut. There you go. Juggernaut losing life. is now in red. There is hardly any anti-infantry over here but the infantry that the anti-infantry the apc i think the apc took down the mutant marauders vice is already here on the right hand side he will crush this refinery is, is fan gonna sell that oh fan's gonna drop down some base defense but i think his money is low fan's money is low he can sell this watchtower i guess but i don't think so. he's gonna keep it over here he needs a sonic emitter that has to come down okay the big threat is gone Big threat is gone. The Juggernaut is gone. Let's see if they're able to take this down. Obelisk of Light, but he needs to protect it, Daniel. You need to put something in front of that Obelisk of Light. Fane's gonna lose his tip spike. Vice has to continue to push forward. More units coming out for Vice. Two Mars? How did he? Oh no, it's Matthew. Matthew also put his mark. So there's two Mars on the right hand side. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's gonna be hard take down two marvs on this side so Fane's gonna come out with missile squads the upgrade would be nice especially okay Fane is now moving his MCV he should have done this earlier that was a big mistake just to leave it out here for a long time not to expand in time support power coming down here I think this is Daniel Daniel throws the support power orbital bombardment to soften up his targets before he comes in his army is right here ion cannon is ready for Matthew, here you go, Vice coming forward, Vice coming forward, Faye, okay, Fayen also coming to meet him, but Fayen, I think he's gonna regret that, he's gonna regret that, because these Juggernauts, he doesn't have anything to kill the Juggernauts, Fayen has to move backwards, there he is, he is moving backwards now, Vice is laughing, Vice is laughing, Vice is feeling dominant right now, Vice is like, <laughs> crushing his enemy under the, underneath the powerful Marv, the Marv supported, of course, by the Juggernauts. Fane doesn't have anything. I, I think he's going to lose his entire right side of the base. He's pulling all of his units on the left-hand side. Has to come back over here. It's tough to keep on moving your units. 
it's tough. He's only got tier 1s. If Feyen made maybe 2 juggernauts, 3 juggernauts, he could defend better. But it's, it's going to be hard. Use the Awaken to EMP. Daniel can EMP this. Daniel's got the EMP. Daniel can use the EMP, but he's not using it. I don't see him using it. Here you go. Here you go. There it is. Daniel uses the EMP. But Daniel should have EMP'd the Marv. Daniel should have EMP'd the Marv. Oh. This is a good fight, though. This is a good fight. They're fighting with everything that they have. Rocket soldiers unleashing the rockets towards that Marv. That Marv still has so much. Still has so much health. So Feyen, he has to go for the Juggernauts. And Feist doesn't really have to do anything. All he needs to do is just move forward. Looks like Matthew is just chilling over there. Because Matthew is just watching. Just chilling. There it is. And Feyen now focuses fire on Juggernauts. Oh, it looks like the, the Marv is going to crush. It's going to crush Rocket Soldiers. Oh, there it is. The EMP comes down. The EMP comes down. I don't know who EMP this. Yeah, it was the Awakened Squad. It was the Awakened Squad. They need to take down this Juggernaut, but here you go. Hard. Hard, hard, hard. Matthew's over here now. It's Matthew's turn. It's Matthew's turn. If, they, if they're able to stop this, they could maybe build back. Nope, 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 nope. Fans defeated. Fans defeated. He couldn't take down the Marv. Couldn't take down the Juggernaut. Okay, Juggernaut falls. But, okay, Daniels throws in the tower. Yeah, it's too hard. It's too hard. Pressure from the left and from the right. And coming back from behind after losing your, Mar your MCV. Yeah, that is a mountain to climb for Daniel. But Daniel and Fan, they, they held out for as long as possible. Fan could have, if he expanded earlier towards the two Tiberium fields at the top, maybe they could have put uh, up a better fight back, but still just um, Vice and um, and Matthew just kept on that pressure, very, very well done, kept on the pressure, made sure their opponents did not build back and regain their strength, so well done for the team on the right hand side, congratulations with your win, thank you for watching Feyen PvP TV, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and just, just tell us what you think, how can these players play better, and We'll see you next time.